Season 3 of the finals made me realize I know nothing about the finals. Just when I started to figure it out, it's glitchy, it's high tech, it's futuristic, we're back to bow and arrow? The new weapons are all primitive and brutal, the new map is elegant and historic, and also the heavy as a grapple hook. This game makes very little sense, and I don't know why I'm still surprised by that. I guess I'm used to games that stick to a central theme, whereas the number one rule in the finals development is always deviate from the central theme. But I don't play this game because it makes sense. I play this game because it there's so much light and colors and uh, explosions and small coins of unknown denomination and it's a video game. I don't know. Whatever they're doing, it keeps me coming back and the new entries to this season are probably the most exciting so far. Every class has a new weapon. Light has a recurved bow that will absolutely be getting nerfed any day now. Medium has dual katanas that can deflect bullets, obviously. And Heavy has a spear with a spin attack. All three are fun to try out, but the bow was the most satisfying for this little piggy. But that's no surprise for someone who has never not done an archery build in Skyrim. Light has a fun new gadget, the thermal bore that sticks into any surface and then in 5 to 10 business days, detonates with the force of a Karen that was banned from Starbucks. Heavy has a new specialization in the form of a winch claw that pulls enemies toward you for close range attacks or surprise cuddles. It also does a little bit of damage, something I figured out when it claimed an elimination in an unsatisfying way. Kyoto 1568 is the most beautiful map in the game by far. It's got zen gardens, it's got bamboo, it's got paper thin walls so you always know what your neighbors are doing. The layout is unlike other maps, and it can easily be a dream landscape for long range or close range warfare. More important than any of that though, is it's got cute little horsey saddles. In addition to a newly refurbished menu, there's now ranked terminal attack and an all new world tour series that makes me incredibly nervous. This promises new tournaments every few weeks, which should keep the tryhards busy while I'm on my 400th game of Banquet. One inclusion I was delighted to find was the option for text chat. A perfect way to converse with your team, this addition is phenomenal for anyone who doesn't have a mic or lies about not having a mic or would rather pour sriracha directly into their eyes before talking to a human on the internet. At the end of the match, as usual, we get to see how we did compared to our teammates and then our opponents. But a new subtle tweak allows us to instantly see where we excelled. If we had the most eliminations, it's highlighted in yellow. The highest support score, that's highlighted in yellow. If we were a completely superfluous companion that only brought the team down, maybe just quit the game before you reach this screen. I don't know, you'll figure it out. The one thing we cannot forget and should never be taken for granted is the little tiny detail that there's so much pink now. There's pink everywhere. There's more pink than you know what to do with. There may as well be only one color and it's the best color. I have a normal appreciation for this pigment, no pun intended. So yeah, it's a pretty decent update. Do you play the finals repeatedly or do you live vicariously through strangers? Follow up question, how's your credit score doing these days?